Hello. Today I would like to do a review on the Ultra Torin Plush 4.5 after 250 miles. Now my history with Ultra shoes, I have run in several pair of the original Instincts on the road. I've run in uh, an earlier pair of Torins. I've run in um, Olympuses and I've run in uh, trail, some of their trail shoes like the Lone Peak. I've run in, I guess I'm on my third version of, of Lone Peak uh, trail shoes. So I've had very good success with the with the Ultras. I, I, I like the wide toe box. I like the shape that is more like the shape of the foot. It allows the nice toe splay. I am a person who tries to strike mid midfoot for the most part. Uh, you will see on my other shoe, I'm now getting where I do heel strike again, some on my left foot. Um, but I find the Ultras extremely comfortable. Uh, these seem to be very well made. They're, they're holding up real well. You'll see that the engineered mesh upper ha shows no signs of wear after 255 miles. And actually most of the uh, outsole looks really nice. The only place that I have the, the big wear is on that left foot where I'm heel striking more. Uh, that is the only issue I've really seen with Ultra Road Shoes is the rubber tends to be a little bit softer than some brands and seems to wear out a little bit faster. But like I said, I'm already at 255 miles and these still feel good enough even with that wear that I'm probably going to get another 50 to 100 miles in them. So I'll probably end up with 300 to 350 miles. Uh, I have been very satisfied with these shoes. They're extremely comfortable. They lock down well. Uh, they're made with, they have a 28 millimeter in the heel, 28 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. So it's that balanced cushioning that Ultra calls it. It's, they used to call it zero drop. So there's no heel to tro toe drop, which I actually prefer a no, no heel to toe drop or a low heel to toe drop. I normally won't run in shoes that have more than about a six millimeter drop. And that's mostly because I used to heel strike so heavily um, and I used to get injured a lot. So I actually changed my foot strike some uh, uh, probably 12 years ago. And I've had very few impact injuries, repetitive impact injuries since then. Actually none, I've had a few <laughs> dramatic injuries where I've fallen or, or something like that, but nothing, not the repetitive type of injuries I always had before. Uh, so ultras have been a big part of my arsenal. Um, I, I run in the Lone Peaks for most of my trail miles and uh, I've really enjoyed these plushes. Like I said, the Quantic Minsole is uh, soft but it's still firm enough to give you a nice base to push off on, which I don't like the real squishy shoes because I feel like I'm spending too much energy by dropping, uh, sinking down in them. These I don't sink down too much. Now, uh, when I weigh these on the scale, now the official weight for a men's size nine is 9.1 ounces. When I may wear, wear, weigh my size, which is a men's size 11 and a half, they're coming in right at 10 ounces. Uh, actually, it says 9.9 .9 right now. Now, I also played around with, they have a really thick insole. It's a very cushy insole. <laughs> uh, and I thought, I, I real often will take insoles out of shoes, and you could in this one, it's still nice and soft in there. And if you take that insole out, this is coming in at 8.9 ounces, which would be very light for as cushioned a shoe as it is. Uh, but I have found I really like the cush in this insole. It's, it, the insole weighs a full ounce, which you're gonna find that most insoles are maybe a half ounce. But this is very thick, cushy insole. I, I don't know what this material is that it's made out of, but it, it is really nice. It says it's a premium PU sculpted footbed, but it is very nice feeling. It, it actually adds some nice cush. Weighing it by itself, it actually says 1.1 ounces. So uh, pretty heavy insole but uh, I usually tend to use these on longer runs and some of my easy days so I don't mind the extra the little bit of extra weight and again they're only still coming in at a 10 ounces for a men's size 11 and a half so it's pretty good um, 
very nice. The tongue is nice. It's not, it's still very cushioned, but it's not real thick. Um, the collar is fairly padded, but it's, it's not a squishy padded and it, it just fits, it fits around your foot really nice. Um, so like I said, I've got about 250 miles. I think I'll end up with 300 or 350 out of them. These shoes retail for $140. Um, I think that's a pretty fair price for the for what you're getting, uh, and they you, you can't. I haven't found many more comfortable shoes. Anyway, that's my review of the Ultra Torin Plush 4.5. Hope you enjoyed it.